a mini backyard bash session and welcome to the Tamiya Wild Dagger with RC Empire. Now we don't often get this one out too much, however as you know we are currently in lockdown and as such we are doing a little backyard bashing with some of our slower, quieter, older models and here is one of my favourites. Now we bought this back in around 2001, around 20 years ago with my brother from the hobby store in Camden, London. And as many of you have, we've still got fond memories of, of that first hobby shop that we used to visit. I still remember going home holding the massive Wild Dagger box in a hobby store bag on the London Underground with I think a fast attack transmitter. And 20 years on, with a huge amount of use, not one single part on this truck has broken. Every single screw, washer, plastic parts are the parts that came out of the original box, which is incredible, and it is still solid. Admittedly, my brother did build it, not me, but it's still a testament to Tamiya. Now a few specs, this is the Wild Dagger, also sold as the twin detonator with a slightly different body, and yes, it is four wheel drive unlike any of the other stadium trucks Tamiya make today. And it's such a shame they no longer make these because they were the best. You could race them around, go proper off-roading with them, go rock crawling with them. And at one point, I think there were quite a lot of upgrades available. But as you can see, they're a blast. It was actually marketed as a one-tenth scale stadium truck, which I think was great, and that put it in a different class to the fully blown monster trucks like the Clodbusters and the other buggies Tamiya had out at the time. Now actually, I think the motors have lost quite a bit of speed because I remember it being a lot faster than this, although it could also be a failing ESC. I've known cases that when the speed controller starts to get old and bad, the model slows down a lot. So it could either be the motors or the speed controller. Now the motors it's running are the stock standard silver can 27 turn Tamiya ones. And I keep toying with the idea of upgrading them, but I'm not sure that we will. What do you think? Maybe we'll just upgrade the electronic speed controller first and see what that does. But there you go, a super short little video of our Tamiya Wild Dagger. I hope you've enjoyed seeing it in action and we'll be back with more action, possibly from the track with the Wild Dagger. But that's it, till next time, stay safe and do let us know if there's anything in particular you'd like to see. Please do rate, comment and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching and see you soon.